The next topic we need to discuss is called apparent depth. And the idea is that if an object and an observer observing that object are each in a different medium, then as the light travels from one medium to the other, refraction is going to take place, and it's going to make that object appear to be actually in a different depth in that medium than it actually is. So and this is best seen in the context or problem here. So let's look at question number six. Uh, when viewed directly overhead, what is the apparent depth of a fish that is 3.0 meters below the surface of the lake? And the index of refraction for water is given. So here, the index of refraction for water, and we expect you to know that the index of refraction for air is roughly 1. So if we kind of follow the path the light takes after reflecting off this fish, kind of make it apparent why this is happening. So as this light comes off this fish, goes to the interface between the two surfaces, and refraction is going to take place as it is transmitted to air. And in this case, we're going from a higher index of refraction to a lower index of refraction. And as a result, then your angle is going to get bigger. So in this case, it's going to bend away from the normal, here going towards the observer's eyes. Now, if we kind of backtrack here, the observer follows that light back. So, and it appears as if that light was coming from right here. And so it appears that that fish is actually at a different depth than it really is, in this case, shallower than it really is. And this equation right here is kind of how we do the calculations with it. So here d prime is the apparent depth. d is the actual depth, in this case 3.0 meters. So n2 is the second medium the light travels through to reach the observer. n1 is the first medium the light is traveling through. Uh, and in this case then we're going to have 1 over 1.33. And this is one we can actually do in our heads, right? So d prime equals 3. I'll leave off the units for a sec. 1 and 1.33 is the same as 4 thirds, so I'm going to divide by 4 thirds, which is the same thing as multiplying by 3 fourths. And 3 times 3 fourths, in this case, is 9 fourths meters, which is 2.25 meters. And so this thing, even though it's actually 3 meters deep, it only appears as if it's 2.25 meters deep uh, due to refraction taking place at the interface between the media.